Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. 36 and 53. You could be between the ages of 36 and 53. Don't don't have to be. Um, again, something here with like your chakras, with some type of energy manipulation, um, especially with your sacral chakra, because the sacral chakra is, is what's used for like, that's like your life force energy it's your um your sexuality it's it's you being very sensual this um i've read before i think that like this kind of represents like water energy actually the sacral chakra it actually carries the element of water this is all about you not having pleasure in your ability to be intuitive or um feminine or something like that here it's to block i feel like someone is trying to just block block you so that you cannot enter some type of like a door to romance yeah and the heart chakra is here yeah okay yeah this, this is somebody playing a lot of games for sure some, somebody yeah look you have envy here someone is envious and jealous of you having these caring connections that could open up your heart okay this caring connection I feel, to me as a reader that whenever i see this appreciation card I, it's an ancestor card to me um it has always been this i always your your ancestors i feel for some of you they appreciate the relationship that you've established with them and i feel like they're really trying to help you right now to um open or to clear like your heart chakra and your sacral chakra for some of you this is solar plexus energy as well but it's time for you to go through this door to romance and you have someone that's extremely jealous and envious like i don't so th this could have something to do with the man holding a coin. We've had a really wealthy man who has been coming out in the readings for a really long time. For some of you, this is a wealthy man that's supposed to be coming into your life. For some of you, the person that is very, very envious and sending a lot of these attacks to you, it is a wealthy man. Take it how it resonates. I just, I don't know. I'm hearing it and this song it, it, I channeled it a few weeks ago I don't think the lady's name may be Paula Cole or something like that but I'm here I don't want to wait for our lives to be over so it's like I don't want to wait for it I don't know if this is a person that's trying to get back to you and Either this person has made a mistake about leaving you behind and at some point they were jealous and envious and now they're trying to reverse the situation or this is someone that's in their lives that has pretty much like sabotaged a connection. But again, to me, it just feels like for a lot of people, like this is a situation that is such a huge burden that it's over. And I don't mean to tap into past energy, you guys, but that's what's coming out. I cannot control that. Um... Somebody here is recognizing that they've made a really, really bad mistake. And it goes back to what I said before. It's like, should you go towards something here is just imperfect. It's like you sort of have to pick your poison here because it's like for some of you, you could have more than one love choice and you're trying to decide, well, which one would you want? Because both of them are, are equally flawed. Or you're dealing with someone and they're struggling with trying to leave a situation behind or there was a choice between you and someone else. They see the pros and cons of both situations. And this person, they're just stuck in the middle. But something is, is coming out very soon uh -oh, where like someone, um, something has happened in the background, perhaps in the past. I, I really cannot figure out like what deck to use. I don't know. 
you have cheerfulness. It's the very first card that just came out. And here you see that there's a man here with two women. And again, I feel like there's a man here who knows that he can celebrate with two different women. It's just a matter of which journey does he want to take, okay? On what, what path does he want to be on? One is perhaps a path towards light. One is a path towards darkness. You have a woman here in red and then you have a woman here in white. It's like you got the devil in the dress and then you got this pure person here. This person is wanting to go on a journey, but the doctor here, it's like they have to, someone needs healing, okay? And and I don't like that energy because it seems almost like a person has done something to hurt you, harm you, or betray you in some type of way. And it almost feels now like someone is trying to siphon your energy, okay? It's like someone is trying to block your heart chakra. They're jealous and envious. They don't want you to have love, but this person is still trying to like get your energy by tapping in really to like your sacral chakra. This could be some type of fire magic, sex magic, mirror magic. I don't know. Caring connections is here. So this could be a couple that's doing this. This is like, and, and interestingly enough, like I always say this is like an ancestor card, but this is an obviously an older woman here. There could be a couple and an older woman this older woman could be someone who's into root work or magic or something like that. I don't know why chakras have been coming up so much. Somebody here is, um, I'm hearing like a retired Reiki healer or someone here uh, can read palms or something like that. They're doing some type of work to manipulate energies. Someone's trying to swap energies. I'm also getting to where somebody could have lied about their birthday or like their zodiac sign or something like that. When I look at this card here, someone has told a lie about their birthday or their zodiac sign, or this is a situation where someone is a really good shapeshifter. Someone here, they may be a fire sign, but they present themselves like they are a water sign or, you know, vice versa. Someone is a fire sign, but they act like a an air sign. It's something like that here that is being done or has been done for someone to, I guess you could say, like cloak themselves. Someone is trying to change a person's energy or like how you're seen. I don't know what that's called, but um, yeah, I don't know. Room here. Somebody was trying to get rid of a person, possibly make a person sick take somebody on a journey so that they will become sick here because they're trying to make room for someone else and then you have here merchant the child and the sweetheart card here so someone here has for sure been trying to sacrifice someone they feel like if they sacrifice the one, someone here and here's the old woman again there's an elderly person out here this could be a man or a woman um someone here feels like if they can get rid of a person that it's going to create an opportunity an opportunity for them and they're trying to sacrifice like a divine feminine or masculine i'm i'm also picking up a divine feminine who is a female though someone here has possibly even been paid the merchant this is someone here who obviously is doing something for some type of gain someone wants to drain your energy they want um they, they, they could have been paid to do something or they feel like they are going to come up on some money if they can pretty much, like I said, make someone sick. This could be your mental health, but someone's trying to make someone sick. This could be past, present, or, or future, you guys. Take it however it resonates. But there's an old woman here that's behind this. There's an old woman who is very jealous and envious. This person is heartless. I keep hearing, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. It's like despair. Somebody here is so desperate and envious. Like somebody really wants a person to communicate with them. The yeah, letter and wedding is here. Letter, wedding, and gift. It's like somebody wants to be married. Somebody wants to marry a person. You have here faithfulness. I feel like this is what has happened in the background. And, and I feel like everyone has heard this story. I've heard this story someone here really wants to be in a caring connection with someone there is a masculine out here who has most likely with the letter card being here communicated that they want to be faithful they want to be committed and they want to marry a sweetheart they want to marry this feminine here 
okay? Someone has then gone on to steal and to create misfortune here, possibly even paid someone to try and hurt a divine feminine so that this masculine will celebrate with a, another woman instead of the woman that they actually desire to be with. And I am picking up a woman, but of course, as I said before, he can be a she, she could be a he. Someone here has been waiting on something to, to happen. Somebody is waiting on there to be a, a, a misfortunate like event to happen to someone. Again, this is something that could have been done in the past, but it's coming out now. I really do feel like someone has invested a lot and possibly even paid someone to make a person sick. Or to have a person hurt. Right bes beside this sweetheart is the old woman. Now, old woman, this could be an elderly woman. Or this could just be someone who's older than you. Or I'm getting for some of you, this person, they could be around the same age. Now, before I had 36 and 53. Okay, 36, 38, 50, 36, 38, 33. You could be between the ages of, of 33 and 36. 33 and 38. Does, don't have to be. Whoever, whatever your age is, this person is about 20 years your senior. For some of you. For some of you, not for all of you. Fifty-three is here. So somebody could be around the age of fifty-three. Could be older. I feel too like somebody here, they want to look like someone else. There could be an older woman here who, who wants to look like a woman. She's jealous or envious of a woman's beauty. Someone else. And this woman is a... And let me say this too because this is what I'm hearing. You may not even know this person. I don't know why I just heard that you may not know this person. Okay. This person may know of you, but you may not see this person as an issue or a threat or anything because many of you, you don't know this person. This seems like some type of hidden person somewhere that's infatuated with you and someone who likes you. This this older woman, this, this could be someone that's even the same age as you, but this person just looks a lot older. I'm getting that too. If you take age off, this this person looks much older than you. And I feel like this person definitely has some insecurities with their overall appearance. This person has a real issue with this divine feminine. You look, you being youthful, you being able to have children. This could be someone who's around the same age as you, but maybe they cannot have children. Or maybe they've had children and now they're, you know, they don't look as youthful. There's just a lot of jealousy and envy here. Envy. Somebody here is very envious about you going through this door to romance. It's a it's an issue. Or this for some of you, this could be a man who wishes that you did not look as beautiful and as youthful. This could be someone who's very upset because you are going to have a new beginning or you may have children with someone else. This is someone here who could actually be sick themselves. I'm getting for a man. For some of you, this is a man who is currently sick. Because they're receiving karma and they could have caught something or done something wrong that was unfair and unjust on their, their journey. And now this person could be hiding themselves away in a room. And I feel like they're plotting on your new beginning. For some reason, this this reading is, is really differentiating the difference in males and females. For some of you, like I said, you have a woman who is very, very jealous and envious of your beauty, your youthfulness, the fact that, you know, you you can still conceive or something like that. And then for some of you, this is a man who is upset because you're beautiful and you're youthful and you can manifest abundance or possibly have children or family with someone else. And this man is, is sick. This man may not be able to even have children anymore because of a sickness or a disease or this. Somebody here, like their days are numbered is what I just heard. Their days are numbered and I feel like they know that. I just keep hearing, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. So it's like somebody wants to say something to you or someone feels like in this lifetime, like they're supposed, somebody feels like they're the ones that's supposed to do something with you.
a mature man. Okay, so. There's a mature man out here, as I said before. There could be a man out here who could be a little bit older than you. This person is finding out the truth about a false person. There's a false person here who I feel has made some changes. This, this false person that this mature man trusted has altered their life in some way or even done something to affect their health. And now this person is upset because I feel like you have a gift of having a choice now in love. Yeah. Yeah. You're being considered now by a very wealthy man and someone else is sick. So for some of you, this is a, this is a man or it could be a woman. But someone here, their financial health is bad. Someone's financial health is bad. Um someone here their financial health is bad or something is going on with someone's mental health um sexual health as well and i feel honestly like with this gift here it's the gift that keeps on giving somebody here has possibly caught something from a false person who wanted to be privileged so for some of you going back to the story of if this is a man some of you you have a man he doesn't have to be a lot older than you but this man could have dealt with someone who was younger than them Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Someone who was younger than them, definitely that gold digger type of vibes here, wanted to be privileged. This person was false. This person was looking for a gift. And this person was probably packing a gift too. This person had a gift that led to some, some bad health. And I feel like you have a man here for some of you who now is experiencing a lot of changes in their journey because they cross paths with this false person. This person is like, they should have come towards you on their journey, but instead, yeah, this person now, when they had a choice, they chose someone else, and now they're at the doctor constantly with bad health. And you have a choice now. You have a choice now where you get to decide to be with a wealthy man. So someone now is upset that you are about to become a privileged lady with an official person who is wealthy. This person was presenting themselves as a mature man or woman who was wealthy, but they got caught up in a situation with someone who wanted to be privileged who has now made them sick or has affected their financial health. Yeah. Coughing in poverty. I cannot make this up. Somebody here is sick. Their financial health is bad. There is an ending coming. This person is no longer official. This person is losing a lot now. This person could have even had a child with this person. But I feel that for many of you, you are about to have a child. Now, the child can represent an actual child or just a new beginning. It's your baby. It's A baby could be a new home, new car, new house, um business opportunity or whatever but you have something brand new here that's leading you to great fortune in a house and this is why someone is so so upset because the message of concern here is the fact that someone knows that they are stuck they're bound to a situation someone cannot come towards you because they're sick their financial health is bad they're sick they could be on their probably near their deathbed now for some of you this is an older person who could have been working with a partner of your, an ex-partner of yours at some point that could be really facing it. Somebody, because there's multiple people here involved, this is a family for some of you. You could have had a mature, wealthy man who considered themselves to be official in the community. They could have been working with a mother, an aunt, or someone in their family. This person really regrets this because them trying to steal something from you led to them having a lot of misfortune in their lives. Mm -hmm. They regret this now. Working with this old woman who was probably doing mirror magic, fire magic, root work, voodoo, whatever they were doing. These people tried to steal something from you and it has led to nothing but misfortune. You're being protected now. And I feel like you're just kind of waiting around like, what did you think was going to happen? You're in the clear because for many of you, you didn't even know about this situation. And so what's happening now is you're going to receive a gift. And wedding. That wedding to me is not just a, an actual wedding between two people. Wedding is, it's a celebration and it represents obviously two two becoming one but it's like 
a partnership. Some of you, you're going to be gifted with some type of partnership, whether it's a romantic partnership, business, or whatever. And you're going to receive letter or communication, I feel like, where someone is going to be thanking you, celebrating you, or, or this is a reward for you being faithful to your own journey. Somebody wanted you to sell your soul. Somebody was trying to either get you to sell your soul, or they felt like they were going to hurt you, harm you, to take your soul. Somebody wanted to play God. And it really feels bad because it feel it seems to me like there's a really tricky person behind all of this that has lied and created this story to kind of like make somebody else take the fall. Somebody here has been tricked into pretty much sacrificing themselves in an effort to sacrifice you. This feels like a, a, a karmic person here. who has possibly used magic or had a family member or someone to do magic on maybe a masculine here to get this masculine to turn against you. <laughs> and I feel like the masculine did it and it backfired. Mm -hmm. This masculine is sick. But let me say this because it's very clear. Not only will this masculine be sick, if this masculine himself isn't sick, whoever this older woman is that has been behind all of this, because there's a, somebody here is possibly paying or taking care of an older woman that works hand in hand with them in doing this. That person is going to be ill. I'm, I'm seeing jail, hell, and sickness and people being in poverty. So it's like this whole entire family dynamic or these people in this group or whatever, they're all going to face karma for being manipulative and superficial, placing blame on you. And the thing about it is like the divine feminine energy is not out here. I feel like you're living your life. You're going towards a brand new beginning. Here we have the high priestess and the temperance cutting the deck. Like I said, someone here is trying to cause an imbalance in your life. And again, someone here is definitely a very skilled shapeshifter. These people are reading cards. Um, they're reading everything that they possibly can. There's a, a lot of heavy, heavy divination spying that's happening. And they're shapeshifting. Five of Pentacles and the Judgment. Hmm. Here we have it, the Three of Cups. This is, these people here, they do they do some strange things under the moon. Okay, they do. This is a group. This is a ritual. These people are doing um, sex magic, but they're doing like blood magic and other stuff. I mean, I feel like these people have been doing this. But they're upping the ante. Like, these people are definitely doing some very heavy, like, binding spells and magic. They're using, uh, like, definitely something here about sex. And I'm assuming that, obviously, when people with sex, that's the, the, the um, soul ties. I, I don't know if these people are purposely trying to transfer demons or they're conjuring up demons like this or something like that but they're doing something ritualistically and it has something with these three cups here i don't know why yeah the money is here the, like this these people have been tricked into selling their souls or this is what they're trying to do to you that they would love to celebrate you selling your soul to the devil is what they want these people though they're conjuring up things especially with this full moon energy here for some of you too, I, interestingly enough, this card has these two people. For some of you, you're supposed to be with a particular person. And these people, they're doing a lot of rituals and stuff on you and whoever your counterpart are. Now, I don't know if you're going to end up with this person or not. This, for some of you, is someone you haven't even met. But people have looked into your life and your future so much. They have an idea of who you're supposed to be with. And I feel like they're doing magic to both of you. These people are doing a lot of heavy, heavy spell work, and they are very skilled magicians and shapeshifters. But they don't know that the Divine Feminine is a shapeshifter also. That's what they don't know. 
Or maybe they do know that, and that's the reason why they're trying to take your gifts. They want to take that life force energy that you have as far as your ability to shapeshift. Maybe that's why they're literally trying to hunt you down. I don't know. Page of Swords here. They're stalking and spying. The Ten of Swords just fell. Yeah, they're stalking, watching you and spying because they're trying to figure out how to sabotage you, hurt you, betray you, and sacrifice you. These people want you hanging. They want to sacrifice you and all these cards fell. But this is two tens here, which says that something here is over. These people are trying to create every burden that they possibly can towards you. And you need to be careful because I feel like somebody came in trying to bait. The other day in the ring, I heard bait and switch. Somebody here, be careful of things that you hear, that you see, that you receive or whatever. Because something is being presented to you as one way and that's not the way it is. It's a, it's a whole bait and switch type of trick here. Somebody, this could be for some of you, like they, they had plans to get you somewhere, but the, the plan is backfiring. Whatever the plan is, it has already backfired or it will. Someone wants to get you, they want to bait you in somehow to get you to agree to doing something or to sign something to go somewhere so that they can hurt you or harm you in some type of way. This could be somewhere, um, the six of wands where you're, Thinking that you're going to a celebration or something like that, I would advise you not to go. Or this is something that has already happened. Yeah, because there's going to be a lot of confusion. A lot of chaos, a lot of confusion. Something is being presented to you, even on like your devices and stuff like that. Um, you could be getting emails, text messages, phone calls, and stuff like that. It's not who you think it is. There's someone that is behind some type of operation here you could you could be in that six of wands energy someone who is successful you're seen by the masses you could have a platform or something like that so i feel like you know people they watch you in some type of way someone has been watching and monitoring your success that's the problem here because like i said you have gift wedding and letter and faithfulness here you're receiving a letter and you do have a choice in love where I feel like you're being watched, monitored, and a wealthy person has taken interest in you. This could be in love or just in business, but somebody wants to cut an opportunity out, so they're baiting and switching, okay? Yeah, three of wands. You're manifesting something. Or someone knows that something that you really, really desire is coming in. This person is very discontent because you walked away. Yeah. This person keeps trying to take action towards you, but your guards are up towards this person. The chariot. Yeah. You're moving in a different direction. This is all about you making a different um, choice in love. And I really do feel like for a, a lot of people, it's a couple it really feels to me like you could have had a person here who wanted you to do something, who wanted to be in a relationship with you. They wanted you to do something, but you chose to move in a different direction. I feel like this person then got caught up with some type of group and they started to watch you, monitor you, or the person that they were with. Like They started to watch you and, and they, they thought of ways to sabotage you, to destroy you. To create all of these burdens and they wanted to completely just end you. This plan has backfired, but somebody or something was sent in to bait you in. And this is all because either someone chose you to be with or you're choosing to be with someone else. Take it how it resonates for you for your situation. But I had a reading a few like last week where I was saying a love spell or something has gone way too far because Somebody has been pillow talking with another person or someone has been talking to their friends and family about a divine feminine. Somebody does not like a divine feminine out here. And I mean, I'm, th this is very, very deep, strong hatred. This could be someone's mother or someone has for sure like a, <laughs> a high, a dark high priestess in their family or something like that. So interestingly enough, um, this is being brought to me. Everything has some type of meaning. So I had to go to an appointment today and it was in a Victorian style 
home that they, you know, it's, it's an office space now. And there were steps. So the steps go up. It was about six steps. And then there was a door. And it was very interesting to me because that type of architecture, I haven't seen it before. So I actually asked one of the people in the office, I said, I asked them, I said, are there additional steps behind that door? And the lady, she said to me, she said, well, yeah, she said, it's a door that goes to an attic that has now been turned into an office. But it was very weird to me because you think of, of you know, a two-story Victorian style home. I was like, why is there only six steps and then it's a door? And I mean, it was all wooden. Like, this was an old, old, like, place, right? So, we started talking. I said, oh, I said, that looks kind of spooky to me. And then some people in the office, they started talking about Chucky and they mentioned Annabelle. Now, I've never, I haven't seen that, but um, a lady in the office, she said, I love um, scary movies like that. Anything that has to do with, like, children and dolls, so for some reason that just was brought to my attention. So for some of you, there is somebody in their family is like a dark um, high priestess and they may have hidden this. I really do feel like there, whatever this situation is, however resonates for you, someone has been hiding the fact that they are like a closet witch. And they may, they may do stuff with dolls and children, again, with the old woman and the sweetheart. Look, you have the old woman, the sweetheart, and the child here. Sweetheart, I'm hearing doll face. Doll face. You could be very beautiful. Okay, you could have a very beautiful child yourself. There's a woman who hates you. Could hate your child. Or hate the child that you may have. I don't know what this is, but... Yeah, there's an older woman out here who is, I mean, hateful. Yeah, the Ten of Cups, this is in someone's family. This this, this is a, a wicked, wicked type of person. I just don't understand why this person would be that invested in trying to destroy the life of a, of a divine feminine. It's like, is this woman, is she, is she, I almost said something very vulgar. <laughs> What is her connection to this man? I don't get it. The Seven of Wands and the King of Cups. Whatever is being done with this ritual, you're being protected. It's being blocked. You are being protected. But the Page of Swords is here with the King of Cups. Someone here is watching. They're stalking hard. Now, I'm going to clarify this. I don't know if this King of Cups person here that's watching, are they watching to hurt you or to help you? Why is this King of Cups? Okay. You have someone that's watching and monitoring you because I feel like they want to help you. Six of Swords. They want to get you away from harm from this Queen of Pentacles. Here she is again. Is this a ghost? For some of you, is this a passed on loved one that's haunting you? Like... Or a person in a family. Like, I, this person is coming up so strong. For some of you, this is this is like a a passed on person whose soul, I guess, is not at rest. And I always talk about in my readings because it comes up like a spiritual spouse. I'm not talking about a kingdom spouse. I'm talking about a spiritual spouse. Something from forever ago. Where you could still be married to... A spiritual spouse or for some of you if you have a divine masculine they could have a spiritual spouse and they may not be aware of that that they have a spiritual spouse that they're still in the contract with this spiritual spouse is haunting their divine feminine down it's what i'm picking up strongly i always kind of go between like shape between past life and currently for some of you this is an old woman in your life currently or your person's life but the reason what this old woman represents, I feel, is like a spiritual spouse. So, you know, of course, your parents or family members, you can be karmic to you and you can have past life karmic debt with them. Someone's mother was, I think, like their spouse in another lifetime. And it's a very, very karmic kind of connection because in this lifetime, this old woman pretty much wants to destroy a divine feminine because they feel like their son, nephew, or whomever is their spouse. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 
Wow. I don't want to wait for this. I don't want I don't want to wait for our, for this. What the hell did that lady say? I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. This old woman has some type of they're like there's um carrying like an entity or something attached to them that feels like their son, brother, nephew or whomever is their spouse. I don't even know if this person knows that they're doing. No, they they know. Spirit said they know. Y'all, is this like incest? What the heck? Like, what is going on here? Is there a woman that's been sleeping with her own son? Or something like, there's a woman out here when I tell you she does not want this man to be with anyone, but she especially does not want him to be with this divine feminine. And I feel like this masculine here is just about ready to take themselves out because i'm hearing somebody say this person stole their life from them this person this is a really old wicked woman here but this is past life karma this person was this masculine's wife or something yeah two of swords bingo on the dot but someone here is trying to cause delays and keep someone held back. Someone wants to keep this masculine held back because they know who this masculine's divine feminine truly is. Judgment and justice are here. Yeah, someone here has, has gotten the truth about this nine of pentacles divine feminine. Who is the queen of cups? The queen of cups will match the king of cups who is actually, there's a masculine out here who I feel is aware of what's going on. They are. There's a masculine out here who knows what's going on. This masculine knows who his divine feminine is. And this masculine knows that things are being done behind the scenes or they're about to know. And this has something to do with an older woman. This is a a grandmother, a mother. This woman here may not even be this masculine's biological mom. This could be someone that was like a caretaker like um i'm hearing like ken closest to ken but you have the ten of wands and the ten of swords i mean this is somebody that's like out to destroy a divine feminine because they do not want this masculine to give equally so this also could be a situation where there's a masculine who has been taking care of an older woman in some type of way especially financially or something like that this this person has mental health issues eight of swords yeah six of wands and this person is watching whatever divine feminine has has created this person wants this to just be over and done completely. But you have the temperance here, the star and the knight of cups. There's there's help coming. You will for sure receive assistance in this. You could be feeling a little bit paranoid down and I definitely feel like you feel the energies being projected towards you from this group, this cult, coven, this community, and this old woman here who was the ringleader. You can feel this. Like you may be feeling um, like you can't really sleep, like you're upset. You could be feeling a little bit down and out, kind of crying over spilled milk. But I feel like like Archangel Michael or, or somebody is coming in and saying no more. Something here is about to quickly change. Whatever is going on with this seven of swords energy, this plot plan, this scheme or scam, the, they're stirring the wrong pot. Okay, I'm hearing fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice. Can't pay, wait a minute. Hold on, cause this is in a song. Wait a minute. J. Cole. What is this? Um. 
the song is called No Role Models. Okay? So this could be someone who... This is some a person that someone respects. A wife... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not a wife. A spiritual, karmic wife. But like a, a mother, grandmother, or something like that. But in the song, he says... I'm sorry, you guys. Just bear with me a second. Um, I mean, I hear it in my head, but I'm looking at the lyrics here. It says, I got defensive and said, no, nah, I was the same without it. But then I thought back, back to a better me before I was a B-list celebrity. Before I started calling bitches, bitches so heavily. Back when you could get a platinum plaque without no melody. You wasn't sweating me. Did somebody date an older woman at some point that is like obsessed with them? Damn. I, I can't tell if this is somebody's mother grandmother or if somebody dated like an older woman at some point you know what this is giving me this is like really feeling like there could be a man out here who has dealt with an older woman at some point maybe when they were younger this woman feels like this man owes her something and i really feel too if there's a masculine out here whoever was dibbling or dabbling in magic this woman could have taught him magic that could be the the couple that we're Man, it's like three or four different people here. She deserved that. She's a bird. It's a bird trap. You think if I didn't rap, she wouldn't flirt black? Taking off her skirt. Let me wear my shirt. Before she leave, I'm going to need my shirt back. You know how it goes. This right here feels like, to me, somebody in their past, I, this is a man. I feel like a man in their past could have possibly dealt with a woman who was much older. This man must have gotten on his feet when he was with this woman. So, like I said, closest to Ken. She's not necessarily his, this may not be someone's biological mother, but th this man could have been like, um... In a time of need, I feel like he he appreciates this woman, but when this this woman is is like obsessed with this man, she wants this. She looks at this man as her man, and, and I don't know. You know, obviously, this is a man who is is more well accomplished now. This man may have money, and he could take care of this woman because maybe when he was younger, maybe when he was around 14, 15 years old, he could have met this woman. And remember I said this person could be like 20 years, this person senior. So this man could be between the age of like 33 and 38. This woman could be in her 50s, early 60s maybe. This this could be a godmother or something like a godmother. This woman could be a foster mother or something like that. This man... This woman feels like this man owes her something, but the, the truth is, is that this woman is in love with this younger man. Oh my goodness. Fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Fool me three times, excuse my French, you guys, but it says, fool me three times, fuck the peace sign, load the chopper, let it rain on you. See, there's a man here who's starting to see the truth about this woman. It's a hard pill to swallow, but this woman, I feel, has been in the background sabotaging this man's whole life because she wants this man to take care of her. I'm getting for some, this man has bought this woman, a, she, this man has bought this woman something big, like a house, or this woman could be, she could be sick, and this man has, um, like, paid for some type of this woman may not have insurance and this man, he's taking care of her. He is taking care of her. You know how people feel. You know, I got on my feet because of such and such, such and such. That's how he sees this woman. And he has taken care of this woman. I feel like he has possibly like 
this man has money, whoever it is. He's been coming out in the readings for, for a year. He has given this woman a house, a car. He's taking care of her, her medication or whatever. This woman is obsessed with this man. She either she wants this man and there could have been something where at some point these two people have slept together. There's some, I mean, it's possible. But if it's not a situation like that, this woman does not want this man to be with a divine feminine because she knows that if this man is with this divine feminine, he's going to go in a different direction where he's no longer going to be toxic. He's going to go on a journey where he's not going to take care of her. This woman does not want to lose the caring connection that she has with this masculine. She's sick. And she wishes that she, this woman is sitting around saying she wishes if she was younger and could still have children. And if she was young, vibrant and beautiful, she would have this man for herself. Oh my God, this is so sick and twisted. Jeez. But this man is saying, listen, you've done this to me. I feel like a man is finally realized like this lady has been destroying their life. Let me say this too. He could be a she, she could be a he. For some of you, this could be a man or a woman. There, you could be a woman, and you you're you could have a, a parental figure, your mother or father or someone that you respected, that you have always tried to do really good by. That's your elder could be the person that's behind sabotaging the majority of your like all of your relationships because they do not want you to get away. They want you to stay hooked to them. This will really resonate with you, though, if you have been assisting a older person that raised you financially. Man, oh, man. Yeah, somebody here is doing magic. They want somebody to, they want to cause heartbreak for a person. But look, the world and the emperor here, this emperor said not anymore. I'm ending this cycle and I'm going towards love. Yeah, this person is, they're getting out of, wow, look at this. The Page of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is like, I, they're like, I will start over, but they're coming out of whatever this family dynamic is with this person. Somebody wants to free themselves so that they can go towards true love. Dang. Wow. Whew. Okay. Um, this, like I said, I, I'm picking up a man. All right, but this could be a woman. You could be a woman and you could have um, your mo your mother or father or a grandparent or uncle, or somebody in your family that you could have. Either they could be your, your bi biological family or someone that was a caretaker for you at some point. This person has been in the background trying to sabotage all of your relationships. They do not want you to go into a loving connection. Now, there are other readings we've had where this is a lover. In this particular, some of you, you have a lover. Some of you, this lover, they were doing things to you because they were under some type of spell or an illusion from this older woman. And I feel like somebody is waking up from... Whatever this spell or illusion is, and they're they're looking into things. The page of swords, the king of cups. This person's they're looking into things. They're like, why why would this divine feminine do stuff like that to me? And also, somebody is just like, somebody. I'm hearing somebody say, well, if if this person was gonna get back karma for doing this to me, why do they keep on leveling up? Why does she keep on getting a gift? Why is she getting married? Why why is is the divine so faithful? To this person, if this person is so bad. And I think that, like, Divine Feminine is just sitting back like, duh. Because I didn't do any of this stuff. Like, somebody, somebody has an older woman. And if it's not, like, a a mother or aunt, this is... Somebody here could have just been in a relationship with an older woman who is very, very jealous and envious of a Divine Feminine who is younger or the same age as this masculine. Oh, my gosh. This woman is older. I'm picking up like parental 
figure, but um, it could just be a woman who's old, older. It could just be a cougar. You know what I'm saying? Like, she could just be older. This woman is throwing all kind of magic at this divine feminine, though. She is upset because she feels like if she was on the same level, mentally, financially, physically, emotionally, or whatever, as this divine feminine, that she could have this man. This is, I'm telling you, somebody is obsessed with the divine feminine because this man, whoever this man is that's been coming up in these readings, he is not, He. it's like this man is saying he, he will not commit to anyone if it's not this divine feminine. He refuses. And I feel like there's multiple people that want to be in a commitment with this masculine because of his status. He could be a public figure. Like that song came up. I've been getting a lot. He could be connected to music or the music industry or something. He has money. And everyone in the music industry is not, you know, selling records. He could be, um, I don't know, what else people go. He could be somebody's agent. He could be a publicist. He could be something. He's connected to possibly B-list celebrities. I don't know. But he has had a come up in his life, a significant one. And he is stuck on this, this divine feminine. Like, even if he's not, but I feel like everyone has lied to him about this divine feminine. Somebody was envious of this, the fact that this divine, this masculine could be somebody who was very superficial and manipulative, but when it comes to this divine feminine, he's a totally different person. And someone has been so jealous and envious of this, like, and because there's so much money on the table with this masculine, these people have gone, I mean, really, really far to sabotage this feminine. And I feel like the masculine now is waking up and he's like, oh, heck no. Oh no, <laughs> he's seeing something and he's like, fool me once. This could be like the second or third time he's met someone that he really, really liked and the relationship has been destroyed. I want to say again, for some of you watching this, you this may not be a man. This could be your situation. You could be a woman and you have someone around you. Whether it's an, an elder that's closest to Ken or it could be an ex. They have been ruining every single relationship in your life because they do not want you to get away, especially if you are supporting someone financially. But you know, it's not always about the money. Some people you're supporting them financially because they are tapping into your sacral chakra energy. They're stealing your energy to manifest abundance. So if you get away, they lose their abundance. Wow. Dang. That's what I was saying at the beginning. I was like, there's some, it's a scandal here, but it has something to do with love. This is all coming out though. Yeah, this is coming out. Sheesh. Okay, let's see what's, what's going to be the final outcome here. My goodness. So just to recap, what I'm picking up here, what I'm seeing is there's a man who either was in a relationship with an older woman or is currently dealing with an old woman who is extremely jealous and envious of a divine feminine who has set this masculine up to think that this person has been trying to swap their energy with the divine feminine so that this masculine would like them or would stay with them. <gasps> oh, sheesh. So remember I was saying somebody here is shape-shifting? Whoever this person is could be the same sign as you. Oh my goodness. This person could be the same sign as you. If you're like a divine feminine or masculine watching, whoever is doing this, they are, they're the same sign as you or something in your chart is very similar. You could have the same sun, moon, rising sun moon or rising i'm not getting vain. you can have the same sun moon rising especially like the same sun or moon as this person so you could be like a sagittarius they could be 
a Sagittarius sun or like a Sagittarius moon. Okay, it's hard. Even when this person watches readings, I feel like the masculine has been kind of trying to dig into this situation. Like something here is not adding up. They're confused because this other person has the same energy as you or this other person is siphoning your energy some type of way and they're trying to act like they're you. And I feel like this person is putting some type of, I don't know, that they're doing something to your energy, your aura where it's making a masculine. They're casting an illusion over you to make it seem like you're this, like you're a dark witch. When it's actually them. And they're doing this with sex magic. They're they're transferring. You know what I'm getting, y'all? Because I did a reading about this person is through sex magic and counter magic. I feel like this person is pretty much like has put some type of entity onto this masculine or feminine or whoever. That entity is collecting information for them and giving them information on the divine feminine so they're trying to be creative and look like the divine feminine or whatever spirit just told me too for some of you this person they're not older than you oh my goodness for some of you this person is younger than you but they look older than you oh my god now for some of you this person they're older I mean, they're younger than you but they look much older than you Take it however it resonates. This is all about jealousy and envy, though. This person hides the fact that they are very, very skilled in magic. And I had a reading two or three weeks ago where I was talking about, for some of you, like, if you're a divine feminine, be careful how you will notice that, like, if you have a platonic relationship, friendship with a, a guy, um, and all of a sudden it's like you will look and whoever the women are that they deal with that you know they're sexually active with they're they're just they're it's like they're the spitting image of you they do what you do they look how you look they wear their hair like you would like everything these women what they're doing is they're attaching entities to these men that's gathering information to figure out what these men like about you and they're trying to do the same thing this woman that's doing this though she either has the same sign as divine feminine or she's the same element i'm hearing so like if you're if you're water she's a water sign you you could be a cancer she's a pisces or a scorpio or has that heavily aspected in her chart she's a very skilled shapeshifter very skilled And naturally, you and this person, your qualities could be very similar. Your birth charts could even be similar. To be honest with you, there's a lot of similarities between you and this person, but they're dark and you're not. But they're trying to flip it to make it look like you're dark and they are of the light. But what they're actually doing is they're pulling on all of your energy to make themselves appear as someone who is loving because they're envious of the fact that this masculine actually wants to be with you. Something is about to happen, though, and this man is going to be like, wait a minute, something here is not, look, death and the sun, an ending and a new beginning. This man is like, wait a minute, no, something here is not adding up. It doesn't check out. <laughs> Some of you guys, I'm telling you, this person, this person could be in their 20s. You could be between 33 and 38, and this person, they look like they're 53. <laughs> they could look a lot older than you that's somebody's story or for some of you this person they are older they could be older than you and this masculine and they're pissed off because i feel like this masculine probably wants to give you equal equal give and take and that means that they're going to stop giving to this other person emotionally energetically sexually financially yeah this masculine is, is planning to stop giving anything to this other person to come and make you an offer they've already decided the king of wands sagittarius king of wands leo aries sagittarius sagittarius is heavy out here maybe it's just something very significant about sagittarius season there's a lot of past life karma here in this situation, though. I feel like you, whoever this masculine is and this this karmic third party person, 
I feel like all of you, you have an ability to shapeshift. This person is making plans, though. Or this person is setting up the person that's trying to set them up. Yeah. Whoever this masculine is, for a lot of you, masculine, it's a masculine energy. It could be male or female. They're blocking whatever this, this plot is. I feel like this person was almost caught up. But like I said, sh um, fool me one time, shame on me. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on me. Fool me three times. F the peace sign, <laughs> load the chopper and let it rain on you. This this masculine is like, oh hell no, you not you not doing this to me again. Uh uh, 